Okay. On today's episode, I'm going to be putting the conduit in. Three foot radius is on my turns. Uh, I believe code says it has to be at least 24 inch radius. Uh, makes it easier for the wire to be pulled through. Uh, no more than 180, no, 360 degrees of turn in one run. If there's more than that, then you have to put a junction box in, or a pull box, whatever they call it. It's a box that you can bury in the ground. They can pull wire through halfway up, then force it, feed it back through, and run it the rest of the way. I'm not going to have... 360 degrees worth of turn, but I may end up putting a box in anyways just to make it easier on the guys pulling it through. But also have my slip joint. It goes up against the uh, house. This piece will pull. I don't want to pull it out yet because then it'll start trying to come out. But anyways, it'll allow the house some settlement or adju adjustments. For the uh, seasonal climates, uh, in case your ground, your footing isn't deep enough, the swelling of the soil when it when it freezes, it'll allow everything to move and not have nothing in a bind. My pipe, my main pipe is two and a half inches. The slip joint is two inch, so I have to have a reducer. Uh, couldn't find a two and a half inch slip joint or extension joint, whatever they call them. Uh, so I went ahead and got the two inch, got the reducer for it. Uh, the two inch pipe that's going to be coming out of the ground will be, uh, that part will be uh, schedule 80. What's in the ground will be schedule 40. All right. And start putting some of this together. Up. Okay, you got to have a pull string to have it attached to it. So, you got a little socket at the end of it to give it a little weight so I can throw it through each section of pipe. don't know if it matters but I'm gonna try to have the wire from the meter to the house going this way that way when I stick the pipe in the wire don't try to hook on the edge of this pipe it has a more of a smoother transition into the next pipe so it hopefully will be easier to pull that's my thoughts in all this There's probably a way you can send this thing through there without doing it like this. I don't know what it is.
All right. I'm getting down. Oops. I might ought to get down some so y'all can see me. Okay, I'm getting down to the flat part again. Because it's up there, it's flat where I started. Then uh, you come down the hill, mountain, whatever. Then it flattens back out. Well, like I said, other than 90s, <clears throat> it's kind of uncomfortable here. I only had 45s. So, 45 is a little bit too much for this. It's more like about a, probably a 30 degree. I don't know if it'll pick it up in the camera or not. But okay, maybe a 22 and a half. But my plans are just to cut one of these where I need it. Got everything. Got my glue covered up so the sun don't get on it. Uh, I really only need one more stick, but I'm gonna grab two. Uh, just to be on the safe side. It's better to have more. I thought I had enough, but I had to. It might have been enough if I didn't screw up earlier. I didn't screw up. I just. It wasn't on camera. I had uh, only needed a section about that long, and they don't have no couplings. Nowhere around. Uh, I've called every place over an hour away. No place has uh, two and a half inch couplings for it. Uh, I guess Corona is probably the effect of it, or nobody's working because they're getting freaking uh, Corona pay on this unemployment. But anyways. Uh, I'm gonna go get two more sticks if I can find them. I'm gonna go call some places. If so, I'll kick on right here. If not, tomorrow might be, uh, might finish it out tomorrow or whenever I can get some. So, appreciate y'all watching. Please like, subscribe, and uh, share. Y'all take it easy. God bless and stay healthy.